Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So Tory Lanez decides to diss Megan Thee Stallion and Meek Mill in his new record called Yucky James, okay? Yucky, mucky, sucky, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's getting tiring, okay? Now he said... I can't believe y'all believe that I would do some stupid shit in regards to the incident that happened um, with Megan Thee Stallion. And then he also said that he has an issue with Meek Mill. Now, my thing is with Tory Lanez is, why do you continue to always bring up your issue with Megan Thee Stallion? We know you guys have a case, but it makes no sense to keep talking about it. When you and academics got in trouble, let's not forget, for talking about Megan Thee Stallion on social media. And you also went to jail. Um, he also speaks about the industry trying to blacklist him, which I've been saying. The industry is trying to blackball Tory Lanez, okay? That's why he can't really do shows like Megan Thee Stallion. He can't really perform nowhere. His music ain't really selling, okay? But he got to put food on the table. Um, but I think that Tory Lane should just wait until the verdict proves that he is innocent because the more you kind of talk about it, the less people believe you. And honestly, I don't believe that you're 100% innocent either, okay? My intuition is telling me that you are partially to blame. You had the object out, and it was unregistered. And Tori has a history of being abusive also with his exes. So no shade, but they have come out and said that Tori Lanez wasn't that great of a boyfriend and he was abusive. Don't get mad at me of what they said. Um, but I think that Megan is also guilty too. Okay, so to me, they both need to get some sort of punishment because they both not being completely honest. But, you know, Megan got Rock Nation behind her. As for Meek Mill, um, the reason why Meek and Tory Lanez have an issue is because of that situation that happened with Melly, Tory Lanez artist. So they haven't really been cool since. Meek is salty because um, he tried to sign Melly and she would not allegedly sleep with him. That's just the honest truth. That's what she said. It came out of her own mouth that she would not give him no type of play. And so he started blacklisting her. OK, because Melly had a little bit of a buzz. Rihanna was playing her music. She had a collaboration with Little Dirk and um, Tiana Taylor. The Homebody remix and Meek told Little Dirk not to put her in the video and she wasn't in the video. Um, he's allegedly made it somewhat difficult for her. OK, and so ever since then, their relationship has not been completely the same. And then allegedly Tory Lanez started messing with Melly. OK, um, so I guess she just chose the lesser evil of the two, but I would have messed with either one of them. OK, no shade. Um, so let me know how you guys feel about that. I think Melly is very talented, but she should have signed directly under a label or it remained independent. I don't know why she got up under Tory Lanez. Um, he hasn't really helped her career. No shade. Moving on to Nicki Minaj. Um, is Lotto throwing shade at Nicki Minaj? A lot of fans believe so because she tweeted, they want to see you do good, but not better than them. So then fans started tagging Nicki Minaj, telling Nicki, oh, she's talking about you. Um, this describes Nicki Minaj. Oh, Nicki Minaj is a hater. And so a bunch of fans started Basically saying that Lotto is talking about Nicki Minaj. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Now, do I believe that Lotto could be talking about Nicki? Possibly. But, you know, it's not distinct enough, okay? Um, she could be talking about anybody. But a lot of these female rappers have issues with Nicki Minaj, okay? Baby Tate, um, Erica Banks, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi. 
So it would not shock me if Lotto basically decides she don't really F with Nikki no more. It would not really shock me at this point. Okay. Um, because if you guys remember last year, she said, um, you know, she sent Nicki Minaj a song in November of 2021, but we still don't have a collaboration. And then on top of that, you know, now she's showing Cardi B some more love. And I think that Lotto should still remain neutral, but I feel like eventually it's hard for these girls to remain neutral once they don't get that collaboration from Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like eventually they start pushing or gravitating towards Cardi B, especially since everybody likes to say that Cardi B is so supportive and she's very nice behind the scenes. That's what Normani has said. That's what Lotto has said, you know, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't really feel like it could be directed at Nicki Minaj, but that's what a lot of people feel on social media. Anyway, moving on to Cardi B. Asian Doll shows Cardi B some love on her Instagram. And allegedly, Dougie B is her boyfriend. So that's why she's promoting the song on her Instagram. A lot of barbs feel like she's throwing shade. But from what I'm hearing, allegedly, Dougie B is a guy that she deals with. And he's cool with Cardi B. So maybe Asian Doll can get a Cardi B collaboration. You never know. So shake it. Uh, which is her collaboration with Dougie B and another person, um, is coming out April 15th, okay? And a lot of people like the snippet on social media. A lot of people are saying how, you know, they want more drill music from Cardi B. She got a line in there everybody likes, you know, she's saying, a broke bitch says she was gonna touch me. She lied, Kuna Matata. So let me know um, how you guys feel about that and if you guys think that the song is going to sound fire because a lot of people on social media are saying how they like it. Um, and then on top of that, um, I feel like this is going to be the start of Cardi B's rollout, okay? I feel like, girl, you need to get back on the scene. Hopefully that pushes her to drop an album or another single, a solo single, um, because the people have been waiting. I think her fans are getting a little antsy because it's been since 2018 since she's dropped a single, okay, or 2019. I definitely feel like Cardi B snippet sounds better than 6 Nines. 6 Nines still just yelling at the mic, not really talking about anything, and I just kind of feel like 6 9 needs to retire at this point, okay? That snippet that he dropped was per trash. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications and have an amazing day.